Okay, so in this video, we're going to walk through another example of solving Laplace transforms. Uh, but this one has slightly more complex algebra than the last example. So we have our differential equation. y double prime minus 2y prime plus 2y equals cosine t. And we have our initial conditions again. And in order to do our conversions uh, to, uh, you know, to Laplace transform, this entire equation, we have these formulas. So we have our y of s, y prime becomes s y of s minus y zero, uh, y double prime becomes s squared y of s minus s y zero minus y prime is zero, and cosine a is one, and we'll apply this function. And so our y double prime becomes this expression where y of 0 is 1 and then y prime of 0 is 0. And then in this expression, we're replacing y prime with this. And again, y of 0 is 1. And then 2y of, 2 of s. And then cosine t becomes s over s squared plus 1 because a is 1. And then we're going to collect our terms that don't have y of s and collect together our terms that do have y of s. So s squared y of s, negative 2s y of s comes from here. And then 2s, 2y of s is here. And then we have negative s from over here. And negative 2 times negative 1 gives me positive 2 here. These two terms, I will move to this side of the equation. So negative s, add s to both sides, and then ne add uh, negative 2 to both sides. And then here I factor out the y of s and get this polynomial, which is, of course, equivalent to our characteristic polynomial. And so now what we're going to do is, on this side of the equation, I have to find a common denominator and write the expression as a single fraction because we're going to need a lot of math to do and that will be much easier. Uh, and so I have found a common denominator by multiplying this expression by s squared plus 1 over s squared plus 1. And if I FOIL this out, I get s cubed and then s times 1 is plus s and then negative 2 times s squared, and then negative 2 times 1. And if I combine the s's together, then I get s cubed minus 2s squared plus 2s minus 2. So this is the only term that was altered by this. And now I can take this expression and divide by my characteristic polynomial to solve for y of s. So this was my old denominator, this was my old factor in the denominator, and this is my new one. Now, in order to perform Laplace transforms on this, I need to uh, use partial fractions in order to get it into a, a quadratic or a linear factor. Now, neither of these polynomials are factorable. Uh, there's no factors of 2 which add up to 2. Um, and so we treat these as unfactorable quadratics. That means instead of having a constant in the numerator, we have to have a linear uh, expression, so one degree less than the denominator, so a s plus b, and then likewise c s plus d. And so I sort of cross multiply in order to get my common denominator. So a s plus b is being multiplied by this denominator. And then cs plus d is being multiplied by this denominator. And I FOIL everything out, so as times s squared gives me as cubed. As times minus 2s gives me this. As times 2 gives me 2as. And then b times this gives me bs squared. And b times this gives me negative 2bs. And b times that gives me 2b. And then same thing here, cs times s squared is cs cubed, cs times 1, d times s squared, and then d times 1. And as with other partial fractions problems, we now collect the coefficients 
for this expression on the right side and this expression on the other side. And so S cubed, we have A and C, but on this side we have 1. And then for S squared, we have negative 2, we have a B, and then over here we have a D. But on this side of the expression, we have negative 2. For the S terms, we have 2A, we have negative 2B, and we have C, and then we have 2. And then for the constants, negative 2 here, but on the left side, we have 2B and D. And again, I use matrix methods to solve this equation uh, with technology, and I get the following coefficients. And I, re I, I substitute these coefficients in to my expression. So here's the problem, though. Um, this is an unfactorable quadratic. This is not in my list of Laplace transforms. Um, since it can't be factored and it's not a sum of squares, what I need to do is I'll need to complete the square. And in order to apply the Laplace transforms, I will need to split these into separate terms because we've seen that the cosine has an s up top and the, the sine has a constant up top and so these are just going to be treated as separate terms so what i've done here is the cosine and the sine terms with the sum of squares in the denominator i've simply separated into two terms and then in this case i'm going to need to complete the square before i can go any further and so what I've done here, I've taken my negative 2, divided by 2, I get negative 1, I square it, I get 1, so I need a 1 to complete the square, and there's 1 left over, because I have to add to 2. And so then this denominator, this portion of it is s minus 1 squared, and then plus 1. And in order to apply my Laplace transforms formula, I need my numerator for my cosine to be written in terms of this s minus 1 and not just s as it was over here. And so what I've done is I've taken uh, my 4 fifths s and replaced it with s minus 1 and then said, well, if I distribute this, that accounts for negative 4 fifths s, negative 4 fifths, what do I need to add to that to get to negative 6 fifths? So you can see if I distribute this, I do get negative 4 fifths minus 2 fifths gives me negative 6 fifths. So this expression is equivalent to this expression, but now looks like my denominator with my s minus 1. And so now I can split this fraction into two separate fractions because they will need separate uh, Laplace transform rules. So here are my four rules that I'm going to apply. So we have the cosine function, so that's this one. It has an s in the top and s squared plus 1 in the bottom. The 1 fifth is just a coefficient. So 1 fifth and then s over s squared plus 1 becomes cosine t. Same thing here, negative 2 fifths is just the coefficient. And since a is 1, 1 over s squared plus 1 is just sine t. Now this one, the coefficient is the 4 fifths. And this s minus 1 is where I get my e to the a t. So e to the t. And then the plus 1 portion gives me my trig function cosine t. And then here I have my negative 2 fifths, my coefficient. 1 is my constant up top, 
And so then e to the t from the s minus 1 squared, and then plus 1 becomes my sine t. And so it's a little bit uh, messier algebra, but you get a, general, a particular solution for the given differential equation uh, with the noted initial conditions.